Hey guys, this vlog is going to be relatively entertaining until up to about the 8 minute mark where I will talk about the title. In the meantime, come with me, join me as I go through with my morning. First stop is LBC. There are pending documents since March that I failed to send because of the ECQs. Today's the day. Next stop is the tools. I'm gonna buy some more garden tools so that I can cut the grass outside of our house. Hopefully it's open. I was trying to remember why I wanted to vlog this day instead of just my regular um, real estate topics. Uh, kasi na napansin ko na yung may ano kasi may statistics sa YouTube studio app kung saan makikita na kung gaano kataas o gaano katagal nanonood yung mga viewers sa mga videos ko and usually my my views last about 3 to 4 minutes okay so yun yung average and then uh, I posted a video two days ago from the upload of this one and it only lasted about one one minute and 40 seconds it was very short very quick and I realized na dapat pala mas mahaba kasi important na yung statistics important na yung the length of time that people watch YouTube videos should be longer in order for YouTube to push it in recommended videos and everything. So, ito. Ito ngayon. Hindi ko alam kung paano ito pahabain. Gusto ko kahit ano lang, kahit uh, 10 minutes. Yun yung aim ko. Sana manood kayo. Aim ko is, you know, 10 minutes per video vlog. Which was the average video length that I did way back in 2017 when I went hard in vlogging. When, I, when we traveled all over Asia, <laughs> all over, oh, para ba namang buong Asia eh, Singapore, Malaysia lang naman. So yun, yun yung target ng vlog na to, pahabain. At the same time, make it entertaining. And if, if napansin nyo, um, from my usual English vlogs, I'm trying to incorporate, you know, or Tagalog, Tagalog language. Kasi, may nasabi kasi yung isang, isa sa mga prominent, isa sa mga sikat na speakers in the Philippines, si Garing. Kalimutan ko yung first name. Pero sikat siya. <laughs> Sabi kasi niya, speak in English if you want to stimulate the mind. Speak in Tagalog if you want to touch the hearts. So I'm trying to reconnect, I'm trying to connect with my audience, with you guys, using our own language. Uh, if, if, Okay lang, if okay lang itong Tagalog, no problem. If you want me to speak in our Cebuano language, no problem. I had a, there was a time when I, I had Cebuano vlogs because I simply didn't care. Uh, I simply didn't care. And number two, minsan, nakakapagod mag-English mag sa ano, public place eh. Gusto ko mag-vlog sa public place eh. Pag nag english na, dami nakatingin. Hindi <laughs> ako makapag-concentrate. Anyway, andito ako ngayon sa Fuda. I will try to withdraw some money. Kasi wala na pong cash and GCQ na po. So, yun yung ano, yun yung target ko na. Target kong gawin dito. And it's traffic. Dami tao. Mahaba ang pila sa ATM. I did not continue withdrawing there kasi sobrang haba nga ng pila. Nakapila na ako pero di ko tinuloy. Instead, pumunta ko sa South Star Drug, bumili ng milk and shampoo ni Zeke. And ngayon, gusto ko mag-withdraw ulit ng money. I'm here in Star Mall. Hopefully, walang tao sa video. <laughs> Wala na cash. Haba pa ng GCQ. Ah. Uh, Daming tigas ng ulo. Anyway. Ah, I'm back. Hindi ako nakapag-withdraw. Kasi, ibang munisipyo, 
yung quarantine pass ko which is Minglanilla and I'm in Talisay so here's the thing about our place pagpasok sa Esquilita Barangay Linaw Talisay okay so we'll, I travel about 2 kilometers from the national road going to our subdivision our subdivision the moment you step inside the gate already belongs to Minglanilla the next uh, the next municipality so medyo mas malapit ang mga establishments ng Talisay relative to our location or in our subdivision pero yun nga <clears throat> we belong in another municipality so I cannot Di ako. Ay nako. Di ako nakapasok sa Star Mall. Gusto ko sana mag-withdraw sa ATM dito sa DBP. Pero mahaba din ang pila. Now, my final stop is veggies. I'm gonna buy some veggies here at the side of the road. Where it is more convenient for us. Because groceries can be more dangerous. I mean, the air circulates inside there but when you are at the side of the road in theory particulates do not last long so that's just me talking no scientific proof whatsoever <laughs> so malitag bibili tayo ng mga gulay gulay dito at saka fruits just arrived home and I'm gonna put all stuff inside. I am back on the road kasi bumili kami ng isang sakong bigas. Nakuha na yung bigas. Nakatambay lang pala si Kuya. Tapos yung bigas nasa labas. Hindi ko na na-record. Minsan nakakalimutan ko press yung record. Uwi na ako. Or bili muna ng isda kasi may nakita ko. Sabi ni March. Hmm. Yesterday, we talked about what is reservation fee and why you need to pay for it. Today, we are going to talk about the next step, which is the payment options you will choose to pay for the remaining balance after reservation fee. There are four types. Number one is spot cash payment, where it offers 5 to 12% discount from the total selling price, that is net of the transfer charge. Number two is spot equity, where it offer developers, some developers offer three to eight percent discounts from the total selling price. Number three is the deferred cash payment. The developers offer this at zero percent interest and the total contract price will be paid in 24 to 60 months, depending on which developer. And number four, the most famous one, is the monthly amortization, down payment, and the remaining balance through loan. Bank loan, pag-ibig loan, or in-house. The rates depend on who appraises the project. For example, banks, they have a high appraisal rate, so the down payment is usually at 10%, and the bank loan is at 90%. Pag-ibig has low appraisal, so 
down payment is usually 20 to 30 percent and the pag-ibig loan is at 70 to 80 percent so you have to pay that through pag-ibig and the in-house have the lowest appraisal the appraisal is very small but the down payment is similar to pag-ibig but the in-house period and interest rate is much much higher and the period is much much smaller so for example for banks the 10 percent down payment usually you will pay that in 24 or 36 or 48 months that's zero interest and the remaining 90 percent you pay that through the bank pag ibig in the meantime similar case but higher rate 20 to 30 percent paid in 24 36 or 48 months and then pag ibig loan balance in-house 20 percent 24, 36, 48 months, remaining balance usually in 3 or 5 years only. Buyers opt for this payment scheme, the monthly amortization and the bank loan because it's much more affordable. Imagine instead of paying about 150 to 250,000 outright, you are given the chance to pay it staggeredly in several months. So that is, uh, that is what we call pre-selling developers offer that so that we buyers investors will have no trouble in paying for our dream property right because we only pay about 3,000 5,000 pesos or as high as 15,000 pesos only compared to paying it you know isang isang go lang na 150k or 250k so i hope that helps thank you for staying here until this point of the video very much appreciate it and uh if you have any more questions if you want to know more about real estate you can just comment down below or hit me up in my um, socials i'm gonna post it after this clip so see you tomorrow bye